They say conversation rule the nation, but silently they head in shambles. In order to get it, nigga, I had to gamble. With my life, you thought I was talking about with dice? I'm hard-headed, I don't need your advice. But anyway, man, Kanye, you a bright, brilliant dude, man. I gotta give it to you, man. Use a, use a witty cat, man. But you know, they wanna silence the witty cats. You kinda quirky, you know what I'm saying? But you cool than the motherfucker, you swagged up, you outspoken, you talking shit. Talib Kweli is a better rapper than you to me. But to you, you gotta think whatever you wanna think. You know what I'm saying? Just Blaze is nothing like you, and he's just as good as a producer as you, kinda. He just don't have all the accolades. Jay Z is selfish. You're right about that. I've heard that. Uh, what else was you talking about? Well, man, you, 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 outspoken, brilliant people gonna ruffle a lot of feathers, but they always right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I noticed that. It's gonna ruffle some feathers, but it was right. It was true. Um, but your ego is out of control, but I guess, it, you know, every, every rapper's ego is kind of out of control. You know what I'm saying? So that, that comes with the territory. But it was a groundbreaking interview, and you're a purist of hip-hop, and you want to hip-hop's pillars. Like like you say, Drake changed the algorithm, you changed the algorithm, too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, you're, you're a brilliant dude. You're a pillar of hip-hop. You, you've been here since the 90s. So you you giving us that old-school wisdom of the game. I see why you quit the rap game. I see why you quit hip-hop altogether. Hip-hop is not really inspiring no more. It's not really an inspiring, like, art no more, as you know. It's more delivery, less content, less substance, just all delivery. You know what I'm saying? Um, but Kanye, the culture needed that. You know what I'm saying? It came out of nowhere. When I went and saw it, it was already at 2 million views, and I think it was only out for, like, a couple of hours. So I was like, you know, I guess he... uh. On, on that status of like the uh, iconic status, I guess, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with Kanye though, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes you get a little weird. You can tell Kanye one of them people, like I say, like a lot of people say you gotta take him with a grain of salt cause he kinda, he kinda out there, you know what I'm saying? But he had a lot of good points. You know what I'm saying? He had a lot of good points. Um, he a man of God, you know what I'm saying? He kinda throw me off when he was talking about calling Kim still his wife and then talking about her lawyers and her advisors and uh he just ain't got no cooth man kanye ain't got no filter man that's one thing about I, I fuck with kanye but when you when you don't have no cooth you know what i'm saying when you don't really have no filter your delivery got to be a little more subtle a little more you know what i'm saying like not too much in your face but i fuck with kanye kanye reminded you of that outspoken person you know what i'm saying he just he just an outspoken person he keep it real in the right way you know what i'm saying I always knew Kanye was crazy though. When he, you should have seen that punk a long time ago, when he snatched the camera from Ashton Kutcher and started running. Now that, that's when I knew. I said this nigga crazy. Kanye crazy. That's one thing about he one of them people where when you sitting around him, you know he crazy. Like like when he start talking, like you know some people like that. Like you fuck with them, they cool. They not gonna do nothing crazy, but you know they crazy. Like Kanye's kind of crazy. I can see why Jay Z kind of deal with him with with gloves. You know what I'm saying? He like a powder keg. You gotta be, you know. He didn't wiped up everybody, girl. You know what I'm saying? He didn't wiped her up, put kids in there, and all that. Only only nerd, only true nerds to do shit like that. So it's it's those stuff like that. You know, you outspoken. You do what you want to do. And you do what your own posters, you do what your own posters tell you to do. Get with a girl that's been hit with by everybody and put kids in her. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm sure a lot of niggas thought about that, but Kanye is outspoken. He gonna do what he want. He did it. You know, so it is what it is, man. That's neither here nor there. But he he a smart dude. I give him that. Real smart dude. Um, and I like the fact that he was able to flow. It's getting hot in here, y'all. You know? See, when people that brilliant and they got layers to them and they coming from different angles, they need a platform for us to follow them. 
They need a pet. See, like, some people are like that. Like, it come to them right away, and they just flow. So there's no instruction manual. There's no structure to what he do. You just got to gotta follow him. Like a pastor that start off with this and then end up way over here, out in the crowd hooping and hollering about this. That's kind of how Kanye is. You got to follow him. But it's worth the follow. See, he didn't mimic nobody that's witty. He really is witty. He didn't get around a bunch of smart people and study them and then come regurgitate what they doing. It's coming from him. That's why I come. It's Kanye will talk about one thing. Go over here. Come back over here. Go over here. But that's how it is, though. And I, I like the fact that these platforms is giving us, um, this YouTube is giving us a way to be unfiltered and to bring it to you raw, uncut, with no chase. You know what I'm saying? No baking soda. Just straight raw off the brick. Niggas is giving it to you. That's why I love this shit, because it's like, it let me do my thing. I done worked in barbershops, and trust me, bro, I can't get a, as soon as I start talking, everybody listening, as soon as I start making points, they cutting me off. You know, these these platforms give us, you know, um, undivided, your undivided, your undivided attention. You know what I'm saying? That's I, We had, Kanye had our undivided attention, and nobody was able to call him crazy. Nobody was able to cut him off. Nobody was able to say, oh, we ain't gonna listen to this nigga no more, just because they mad because they hitting points. We had to focus and listen. And I like it. I, li I like I like Kanye. I always have had like Kanye. He a little throwed off. But with brilliant comes comes insanity, man. I fuck with me.